What's up everybody? Pal702 back today with a dual 18650 parallel mech squonk review. Or as I like to say, the Defiant Designs DS Squonk Mod. Yes, I have been waiting to do this review. Um, first of all, a little backstory on this. Like I saw this back when it first came out, when it was 528 Customs. And I kept seeing this, you know, in some videos and online. And I could always find the TS, the triple, but I could never find the DS. I could never find this thing. And I see people with it. I, I, I try to buy this shit off people sometimes online, just random strangers. And they're like, fuck you, you ain't have my DS. And so, uh, yeah, so I, I searched high and low and then I found out about the fine designs. And um, well, let's just say the very first day that these were released again under Defiant Designs, um, like the first fucking order, like probably went to me. Um, yeah, so I've had this since the, the, the new, the re-release of this guy. So this is the Defiant Designs DS, not the 528 um, Drip Tech DS. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna go downtown. I'm gonna show you, you know, the mod itself, all of the extras, ton of extras, and then we're going to um, tear it all down. Um, you know, it comes apart very, very easily. I'm, we're gonna tear it all down. I'm gonna show you, you know, what it looks like, all broken down, how you clean it, all that stuff. Then, in honor of such a badass mod, we are going to throw a goon, a black goon 1.5 on there with some coils that I got from some dude named Clean As Fuck Coils. So we got a lot going on in this review. So without further ado, let's go downtown and have a look at this bad boy. All right, here we have it after all of the months and months of begging and pleading and Googling and crying and pain and suffering and sorrow that was my journey to get this. Yes, Defiant Designs DS. There's not a lot of stuff on this box, guys. So on the front, you just have, you know, Defiant Designs DS. On the side right here, it's got um, designed in the USA by Greg Stevens. I believe he was uh, part of 528 Customs. Nothing on this side. Nothing on this side. On the back, you'll see this, I guess like a biohazard. This is like kind of their new logo. Before it had kind of the, the goon, uh, that saber tooth design on this and on the switch. And um, now this is, this is I guess their new design they're rolling with. And then uh, this is a, a black mod. So that's what the circle is right here. And down here, it basically is just saying that this is a mechanical mod. It's for ex you know super experienced users only. You know you can pause it and read the rest. And then if you notice down here, made in China. So you have designed in the USA, but it's actually made in China. You know I when I first ordered, I thought it was designed and manufactured in the United States. Um, turns out it's made in China, which I don't have a problem with that at all. Um, the Dreamer, same thing, it was designed in the United States, made in China. Excellent, excellent, excellent mod. If you guys remember that review, if you don't, you should watch it. This side of the box though is kind of, kind of threw me for a loop. This device is not intended for use with nicotine. Patent pending. I'm guessing that they put that there to maybe get around you know possible pending legislation or something preemptive or something but i just thought that was kind of a i don't know i've never seen that before on a device most likely you know its sole purpose was to be used to deliver nicotine in a 95 percent safer way so what we're going to do is i'm going to open this up and the mod's not in here because there's so many extras so when you open it up, you're gonna see a mod, but right now you're not going to. So, right there, 
just a ton of extras. So we're just gonna start with the bag right here. In this bag, you basically have every single thing that you need to replace every single internal in the entire mod. Yeah, I mean, it's got, you know, the four, these four long screws are what holds the uh, the top down. We're gonna take this all apart so you'll, you'll see and recognize where these go. But it has those four screws. It has all of these O-rings, which are all inside the mod. One of them's around the 510. It actually has, you can see these little magnets. It's got extra magnets in there. It has an extra spring for the switch. I haven't installed this one. The one on it is fine, but I've I read around online, I guess this possibly is a little bit stiffer. The one that's on it, but I, like I said, I totally, totally fine with the one that's on it. You can tell that, you know, Greg Stevens has built a lot of mods. This isn't his first rodeo, as they would say. Everything, all the internals, you have a spare set of everything right here. So massive, massive, massive pro right there. Another massive pro, this guy right here. This is a super high speed Allen key. This right here fits all of the, all of the Allen keys, all of the, um, everything that you need to take apart this mod. So it's actually, you know, it fits really well in the hand. It has these little O-rings for grip. And this is just awesome. I mean, I don't, I'll, I'll basically, I'll find out what other RDAs and stuff like that I can use this on, but this thing just works just awesome. Yeah, once again, you can tell um, the guy that designed this, this is not his first rodeo. Dude knows what he's doing. Dude knows all about mechs and he's making life easier for you if you decide to purchase this. Moving on, you have this, this little key. If you can see, it says Defiant Designs on there. And on the back, you have that um, Biohazard logo. And basically this key, this will undo your, your battery caps. I'll show you in a second on the mod. It uses, um, you know, the battery caps on it and there's a slot in there for, for venting, but also you stick this guy in there and you can twist it. Also, these other angles up here, they work, I think they work maybe on the 510. You can use these for other parts on the mod, but the only thing I've used is this to um, take out the batteries. But very, very cool. Very builder friendly. Okay, now we're getting into a little touchy area for me. That would be the squonk bottle. We all know that I am not a huge fan of proprietary bottles, but watch my Vicious Ant Spade review. That proprietary bottle system, uh, it made me rethink my whole stance on it. Um, and that turned out to be one of my favorite squonking bottle systems, period, if not my favorite. So this is a proprietary bottle system. Um, it does use a stainless steel stem and it does have O-ring right here and it basically seats up underneath the 510 and there's another O-ring and, it, and it, when you screw in the bottom it'll make a, a really nice seal. I don't have a problem with this proprietary system as well as I'll show you. You know, the bottle, it's 10 milliliters, so it's a massive bottle. And the way that the, the mod is designed, there's really no way to get up top. Like you need a long bottle like this and you would not be able to hook up your own um, tube. Okay, so I don't have a problem with this proprietary bottle uh, whatsoever. And it's, it's cut, you know, just like a regular one at an angle. Okay, that being said, the bottle. Mm, man, the bottle. So you do get two bottles. So that is uh, definitely a plus in my books. This bottle, it's not the hardest, crunchiest bottle, but it is hard. It's definitely, for me, you know, it's a con. It's the one of the only cons I have on this. 
they do give you two. The other one I have is in the mod, which I'm gonna be showing you in just a second. So you have a completely, like I said, there's there's two of everything. So there's another bottle, there's another um, stainless steel stem, and another top. But I wish, you know, they would have given you one hard, harder one like this and one softer silicone one. But I feel like that they probably should have known to, if you're gonna give two bottles, give one, you know, one harder one and one softer one. But, you know, it is what it is. So for me, it's a con, but it's definitely not a deal breaker. Definitely not a deal breaker. Just be aware that these are not soft. Okay, so another cool thing, staying with the bottle, and maybe this is the reason why, you know, they're a little bit harder. You can turn these bottles into actual bottles. You can turn the bottle, the squonker, into a juice bottle. They give you these little nipples right here and then a cap. So there you go. You have a little mini e-liquid bottle. Kind of cool. I mean, it, I, I like the other system on the, on that Vicious Ant Spade, how it was like a squonk ready bottle and then it was in that silver, that standstill tube. But this, you know, this is still cool. Still cool. I mean, tons, tons of extras, tons of options. So we're gonna put this all back in. Now we're gonna get down to business. This is the Defiant Designs DS. And as you can see, I, ch I decided to go with black. It's very, very subtle, but I, I love it. Like I don't like, uh, you know, huge bold writing all over my stuff. Just a very nice touch there. You know, it's just kind of, I don't know if that's laser engraved or what, but very subtle. Very, very, very cool though. As you can see, the front of the mod right here, um, this is what I'm talking about on that proprietary system. You know, the connection of that bottle happens way up here, so I don't know, you know, this is all a solid piece, so I don't know how you go about, you know, connecting it without it being, you know, a proprietary system like that, unless you're actually gonna change the whole mod and have it like cut out right here. So I'm fine with that. I just wish the bottle, yeah, they gave you one softer bottle. Okay, so moving on to the top, you know, here is, that's your 510. I have been rocking a Entheon. First of all, it is spring. It's got a spring on it. Uh, it is gold plated. This is a, let me take the beauty ring off. This is a 22 millimeter Entheon. So that's what a 22 looks like. You see you have um, plenty of space. And on the front angle too, plenty of space. And this is what I've had on here for the last, I don't know how long I've had this, probably a month. And here is a 24. This is the Goon 1.5. And as you can see, it fits perfect. Absolutely perfect. I actually bought this goon for this mod, and this is the first time that I've actually put it on here with intentions to build. She's brand spanking new. But yeah, so the 24 fits absolutely perfect. Anything larger than that, you're gonna have it overhang. But 24, especially a goon. I mean, God, I mean, this, this thing just, I had the antenna on there, but it was screaming, give me a goon. I got, I'm giving you two batteries. Let's use two coils, my opinion. So yeah, 24 fits on there, looks absolutely beautiful. Up top here, these are the, I'm gonna go ahead and just use the screwdriver. These four bolts right here, you just remove all of these and this whole top section comes off. Here is your switch right here. It's the detonator style switch. It has a very, very nice resistance in it. Once again, that biohazard design on there, but it's got a very, very nice spring in there. That's why I haven't tried that other one. I mean, this is perfect. You know, you, you gotta give her a nice 
a nice press for for it to to go off. There is no um, there's no safety. There's no you know locking anything. This is just full on mech. No safety features on it. You know besides like venting and stuff like that. But it's full on mech. Around the back, it's all nice and rounded. So it just fits in your hand absolutely perfect. What, to me, this, this mod, in other reviews, it appeared a lot bigger than it really is. This is not that big of a mod. As you can see, it fits perfectly, you know, and I don't have like Shaquille O'Neal size hands. You know, this thing fits. How I'm holding it right now, if you notice like where my ring finger is at, it's right on that bottle. It's right on the bottle. And with that being said, you know, it is a harder bottle, but it's very easy to squonk because of the leverage, the way that you're holding this already, you're already almost squeezing. I don't know, when the softer bottle comes out, we'll know, but I mean, maybe with, with the weight of the two batteries in it, when you hold it, maybe you're actually kind of squonking it. I mean, maybe there's a reason why, you know, there's a little stiffer of a bottle in here. With the stiff bottle, my main thing is, you know, it's a pain in the ass. Usually you gotta thumb press it or when the window's right here, you're already, your, your finger kinda has to do this weird thing to get to it. With this, you know, your ring finger is right on the actual bottle and it's very, very easy to squonk. So yeah, you'll see it has, um, all the edges are smooth, you know, it's all beveled. Everything on here is just rounded, extremely smooth. And the body on this, this is all anodized aluminum. And you can see down there, I'm not sure if you can see the serial number on this, but it is 487, which is crazy because literally the day that they released these, I got an email and they had my money like within seconds. So moving on down to the bottom of this mod, you'll see down here, everything is gold plated. Okay, so before I forget, we're just gonna go ahead and remove this squonk bottle. And I'm gonna show you a pro right now. So remove the squonk bottle. You just turn this guy. Thread's very nice. Flat on the bottom. Very nice threads. And it's got a little split right down the middle so you can kind of get your fingers in there to get, to get a grip of it. And then the bottle just comes right out like this. You know, I was squonking on, um, on that Entheon. In here I have, um, still rocking that yummy. But today we're gonna put a different liquid in there tonight in that goon. But if you see what I just did there, you know, if you're a squonker, uh, maybe you have the G-Box or something like that. What I just did there, you probably are envious. I was able to take the squonk bottle out without messing with my batteries. You know, on the G-Box and um, some of those other ones, I think the iJoy one, it's all one compartment. And so if you want to refill your squonk bottle, you know, you have to, everything, your batteries and everything have to come out. With this, not a problem. You just simply unscrew this, pop this out, or what is cool, this is also really cool. Say you uh, you don't need to refill your squonk bottle, but you need to change your batteries. This whole piece will slide out and you don't have to actually remove all of these completely. So you just grab your key, or you can grab, you know, whatever. What is it, pliers? Hold on, I'll just show you guys since I'm down here. Stuff like your, the ends of your tweezers, all fit. I mean, everyone has, you know, tweezers that they, that they strum with, but these fit, you know, your key fits, there's all kinds of stuff. Um, but you just loosen this up, loosen both of these up, and then you loosen your squonk cap. And everything slides out. See how that snaps in? So this whole thing slides out. Take your batteries out, 
put your batteries in, and the whole thing slides back in. Meanwhile, your Squonk bottle stays in. So you can change your batteries without messing with your bottle. You can change your bottle without messing with your batteries. So very well done. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this bottle right now. All right, so the bottom now, we'll just take a look at this, because this is basically, this mod is basically three pieces. It has this bottom piece that slides in. It has the top piece, which we're gonna take down next, so we can tear it down and I'll show you how you do it so you can clean it. Um, and then the actual body of the mod itself. Uh, if you can see very faintly, right there and right there, those are negative signs. So there's a negative and a negative. This is a parallel mech. So your negative, your flat end of your batteries, guys, are gonna be at the bottom. Your positive is gonna go up. Don't be switching them around. You can't switch your batteries around and turn this thing into a series. It doesn't work that way. If you do that, just don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't do that. So negative, negative. Here's what the inside of the cap, you know, the inside of this bottom slide piece looks like. You have four magnets, extremely strong. As you can see, this, <laughs> this tool sticks to it. Very strong magnets. So you got one, two, three, four. And then what's, I really like this design. These are, they're like, they're concaved on the inside. So when you're, when you're screwing these guys down, it'll make contact with your negative, but it won't damage the bottoms of your batteries. Uh, I have seen some people with these and I've noticed their batteries have like these <laughs> dents in the bottom of them. And that's because they're going in with this guy and they're just tightening the shit out of them to the point where um, this is actually nailing into the bottom of their battery. Like you don't have to be Tommy Torque Wrench on this. You just get a nice, you just get a nice, just when it starts to tighten up, you're good. You know, just give it a little, mm, you're good. Um, but I do like how these are concaved like that it makes a good very nice connection that way yeah so that's basically this piece once again your negatives both are going down as this is a parallel mod okay so i think this is gonna be the best view for you guys um, if you look all the way down there to the bottom which is actually the top of the mod you're gonna see the positive contacts positive goes up those are gold plated. And now I was really trying to figure out the differences between the Drip Tech 528 version and the DS Defiant Design version. And everywhere I read, they say the positive, you know, even on their site, it says the positive contact has been updated and now self centers the companion component. So I don't know what the issue was with the uh, Drip Tech DS but apparently it's fixed. I did as much as I could. You know, I reached out to a few people and I, I, I tried to ask a lot of questions. Not a lot of people have this. I couldn't really, I couldn't really find out what the issue was with the 528 DS. So if you guys know, you know, drop a comment down there. Uh, you know, I would love to know what, what about this is different than the, than the 528 version. As I, you know, I, I'm only reading off their site that these positive contacts um, you know, they are now self-centering, uh, where I guess they weren't before. And then it also says the negative contacts have been updated um, to a stronger design while maintaining their polarity protection. And those guys right here, your negative and your positive contacts, uh, once again, I do not have the, the 528 version, so I can't really get any more specific, but this is where you guys come in to play uh, someone out there knows and they could probably drop a nice little comment and you know help me out you know and help everybody else out too so yeah teamwork guys teamwork makes the dream work that is the inside uh, those are the only two things that I that I read that were really updated from the previous the body once again it's anodized aluminum body this does come in a dual or a triple 18650 version. 
there is, you know, there's no series, uh, you know, there, you, there's no 2700 or 21700, it's strictly 18650. The Squawk bottle, 10 mils, two of them. The straws that go inside those guys, all, you know, stainless steel. You, know, you have everything on this inside that I'm about to break down. Everything underneath here, you do have duplicates. So that is awesome. The mod itself, it comes in black, um, like a really cool, like brushed, like s silver aluminum look. Uh, there's like a purple color, a blue, a, yeah, blue is really gorgeous. Um, a really badass green and a red. But for me, this, this black one was just, this thing is just fucking, it's tough. Love this thing. Okay, so we got a review to do here. I gotta quit falling in love with this thing all over again. We're gonna take this top off now. Top, super duper easy. Just like that. Have all four unscrewed. There they are right there. As promised, you have four more of them in the bag. I'm just gonna keep track of my parts here. Put those right here. So once those are removed, this guy basically just kind of pops out. Just like that. And you can see on the inside, one of these, I can tell you right now, so you guys are gonna look at this and be like, you're missing an O-ring. No, I'm not missing an O-ring, it's right there. It just stayed on that part. So don't be alarmed guys, it's right there. Not gonna mess with it. So this is the top half of the DS. If you want, oh, but if you want a straight shot through what this thing looks like, this is fucking clean. Clean living right here. Clean living. You'll see there's like a, in between the batteries, that's actually open. In between the batteries, that's actually open. And then the squonk bottle, this is actually solid. So there is, that is not isolated here. See? But yeah, very, very, very clean. I mean, this thing is just pretty light too. I mean, it's gotta be light, I guess, uh, if you're gonna drop two 18650s in there. So get that guy out of the way. Here is the top. Okay, so for reference, we're gonna keep the button on this side, 510 on this side. I don't know if this smiley face is throwing it off, but we're gonna roll with it. So we're just gonna remove this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, all with the same screwdriver. Pressure on it. Did we get them all? Yep, we got them all. Once again, those are your positive contacts um, so to clean these guys I mean we're going even further than we have to if you want to clean your contacts you just you just had to remove these four nail these you're done um, we would just might as well break all these down so these are the four screws I just undid that's underneath of it I'm just gonna keep these in here um, once again as promised, you have spares for all of these. There's four of these. There's another one of these guys right there. Um, is, there's not spare uh, contacts though. I need to point that out. There's not spare contacts, but I don't really know why you would need that. Just keep these nice and clean. So yeah, that's what that looks like. And then underneath that, there's your switch. And then there's your spring load right there on the 510. There is, okay, I guess there is one thing. There's not, the, there's not another one of these springs for the 510. The only spring in there is for your switch. That's it. I mean, I mean you could go one step, I guess, more and unscrew this. The, the spring's underneath there, but I'm not gonna take it out. I mean, I'd like this spring right where it's at. 
we did it. We're all the way there. So very, very easy to break down and clean to get your contacts. So it's gonna go that, on that, on that. Oh yeah, and that in the middle. <laughs> That's gonna go in between, but yeah. So boom, 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 boom. That's it guys, that's everything. That's this thing completely broken down. If you wanna clean this. I, actually, Greg Stevens made a video where he takes the, the 528 version of this. He breaks down like the TS or whatever and he, he throws everything in. Uh, I forget what kind of uh, clean, cleaning solvent he was using, but he just takes all these parts and just throws them in this dish that's full of some type of cleaning solution and lets them soak and then puts them all back together. But you can break this whole thing down just using this guy right here and that guy right there. That's it. So, since we're down here and I did pick up a Goon 1.5 Badass Black to go with this and it's a special occasion, so I went out and I did purchase some clean as fuck coils. I'm not just saying they're clean as fuck, like that's the name of the coils, clean as fuck. So we're down here, we're totally broken down. We got, you know, we got this gorgeous dual 18650 mech squonker. We got this gorgeous brand new Goon 1.5. It's empty, it's hollow inside, it needs life needs love but if you can see to me they appear to be clean as fuck so so far this is a pro I got actually a couple I got a couple uh, I loaded up guys stainless steel aliens so we're gonna go ahead and throw some clean as fuck coils in this bad as fuck mod and we're gonna put some 18650s in here. We're gonna have a lot of fun while we do this. So, in honor of this black defiant DS mech squonker that's back. It's back. It was out before, it was the 528 Drip Tech. Now it's the defiant DS. It's back, it's in black. It's back and it's black. Hit it.
And that was the Defiant DS Dual 18650 Mech Squonker. And the build was the 1.5 Goon with some clean as fuck coils. And we used the ever so delicious Killer Custard Lemon. It's their new flavor, it's killer. It's really killer custard. So, the DS. The DS, we're gonna start, we're gonna start with the vape first. There's still more clouds. So, we're gonna start with the cons, and then we're gonna end on a positive note like we always do around here. Well, my cons on the DS by Define Designs. Uh, you guys already know what my con is going to be. It's going to be the bottle. The bottle, you know, it's uh, it's not like a crunchy, shitty one like the um, Rig Squonk. It's harder. I would like a softer bottle, but like I was showing you, when you have it in your hand like this, your ring finger's right on it. So squonking it, it's not hard. And I do think that the, I, I've heard enough people say that they're coming out with a silicone bottle. I, I'll, I'll be buying one in two seconds and hopefully. Hopefully the future ones that they put out, the second bottle that they, if I were them, the second bottle, I would make silicone. It just makes sense, you know, give one hard, one soft. Everybody's happy. Um, I don't know if there's a price difference in the bottles, it probably is. Yeah, and the proprietary on this, I don't have a problem with it because how, I mean, the way that this is designed, the beauty, one of the beauties of this, this device is it's just one solid piece. You know, this whole body is just one piece. So I don't know how you're gonna connect a tube all the way up top here when your squonk is here. And, and I, I would never want this whole front to pull off. I mean, that's the beauty of this thing. The crunchy bottle, or the, not crunchy, but just the harder bottle, the con, um, slight con. Other than that, I'm just trying to think of fucking cons, man. I gotta be, I'm trying to, ugh. Con, 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 con. Hold on. Cons. Say, fuck it, dude. That's it. Like, seriously. Pros. We're going to go to right into pros. Pros, pros. We got tons of pros. Pro number one dual 18650s. Like, there's a ton of uh, single battery mech squonks out there. You know, 2700s, 21700s, 18650s. You know, I never understood why there wasn't more dual, you know, battery mech squonks and regulated and all that stuff. You know, I don't really do the regulated. Thing, but I don't understand why there's not more dual. This right here, I can tell you with that Entheon, because I just started, as of right now, this is me running the goon, but that Entheon that I had on here with two Sony VTC 5As at about a 0.14, full batteries, this thing will last me two days. Two days of vaping. And that's going to work, everything. Granted, it's a single coil, but I could vape for two days on this thing. That is ridiculous. I mean, two batteries, tons of ma. You get in with the Sony VTC 5As, you get a ton of ma and you get amps. So yes, dual 18650s, massive, massive, massive pro. The fit and finish, like the machining on this, it's just, it's this anodized aluminum. Okay, this is like, I don't wanna say high end because this, a lot of high end mods like my Vicious Hand Spade and stuff like this, this is all my opinion, you know, so this is just me. This is a workhorse. This was designed to be carried. This was designed to take to work, to go out and use it, you know. I'm not scared to take this thing out and drop it. I don't wanna drop it, trust me, I don't wanna drop it. But this thing is a workhorse. This is very well built, it is very strong. It's just, it's in, a, it's in a weird class because it is $130 and it's worth every cent of that. As a matter of fact, on the price point, okay, 130 bucks. I have another squonker that I paid $130 for, if you guys have seen the rig squonk video. And what I have to say about that is, this is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. Get the picture?
You remember those commercials? Those fucking commercials are awesome. <laughs> but seriously, enough said, right? Back to my pros. This baggie right here. This has everything that you need to replace every single thing in here. I think with the exception of the spring on the 510, you know, we went through it. it basically, everything has a copy. You have an extra of everything. You have extra bolts here. You even have extra magnets. Another pro, you can take your squonk bottle out without your batteries falling out. You can just unscrew this, that comes out. And also, this whole unit slides off, so it's just, you just, you know, it does have these these caps on them, which I'm not gonna give it a con for at all because I actually love these things. A lot of the Filipino stuff that I absolutely love have these, and you can either, you know, you can either, in my opinion, you can either bitch about having to turn these things, or you can get a door, you know, like a hinge door on a lot of the shitty mods that just fly open over time. I'm always gonna pick these over a latch door, so, yeah, the whole design on the bottom of this is a huge pro. Being able to take out your bottle, leave your batteries in, or to be able to just loosen these guys, pop this whole thing off. The, the key that comes with it, it's just, you don't have to use it. It's not like, oh my God, I can't change the battery because I don't have my key. You can use, you know, you got these, these fit perfect, I mean, basically anything, you know, but the way that this is designed, you're not gonna damage your battery. The way that, they're, it's concaved on the inside, you're not gonna damage your, your battery and it makes a, a very perfect, in my opinion, um, connection. You know, your battery should never be dinged up. You don't have to, to crank these down. So the whole thought process behind this, this piece right here is it, genius. It really is something so simple, but look at how many other companies that have attempted dual battery squonkers, they didn't do this. Um, the fact that, you know, uh, 24 fits perfectly on here. I don't know if you guys will try to get a good shot. So this this goon, I mean, it it fits perfectly. There is no overhang, and it looks killer. I mean, it looks absolutely gorgeous. You know, all of the everything is rounded, rounded. You know, the where your squonk cutout is this this is all beveled in here the detonator switch i'm a huge fan of the detonator switch it does come with that extra that extra spring which i guess is harder than this one but this one right here i mean uh, to me it's it's perfect and and to have dual batteries you know like i was just talking about how much i love sing single coils but i fucking love dual, I love all coils, okay? Give me coils, give me one, give me two, give me three, give me four, give me five, love coils. But to be able to put a lower build on here with um, some really nice coils, uh, you know, I just started vaping on these. Clean as fuck coils, I will leave his information down below. What he told me this was gonna ohm out to and what it ohmed out to, it's bang on. The taste and the cloud production. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm almost on a mech tube right now. <sighs> Let's not get nicked out. Uh, easy to take apart. You know, when I, when I took it apart, it looks like a lot of parts, but it's not. I mean, this whole entire thing, it's three parts. You got your top part, you got your actual body, and you got this bottom part. It's four screws, guys. Four screws, and they give you another huge pro. This guy right here. So. With this thing right here, you can take apart this entire mod. This entire mod comes apart with this and this only. That key, use it, don't use it, doesn't matter. But four screws, you take these four screws off and then there's four more on that, that inner plate. You can get to your contacts. I don't know what the, the previous contacts were. These positive contacts, I've had no problem with them whatsoever. You saw when I was putting these bolts back in, you know, the bottoms had a little bit of uh, debris on them or whatever like that. And I just little brasso and kind of came right off. Breaking this thing down, it's super easy, super quick. It's not, you know, when I, I think I saw like an instruction manual for it or something, it just looked like crazy, but it's not. It's, you know, once you take this top piece off, it's just the top piece and there's like kind of like a spacer or something. And then, you know, the bottom right there that has your contacts and everything on it. And it's just like a little sandwich and it's got that spring in there. So you just kind of hold it 
and you know screw it in like that very easy to break down very easy to clean it looks as fucking badass this thing is just it's menacing looking almost i mean this thing is just for me black was the way to roll with this thing and how it's got just this nice touch of defiant designs you know and that really cool font on it all right you know i'm gonna try to catch it here yeah yeah, so just there's not a bunch of shit plastered all over here. It's got your defiant designs. It's got your little serial number right here. So obviously I love this thing. I've been trying to get this thing. If you guys are on YouTube, you've probably seen my dumbass leaving comments all over the place. Like every time I saw someone with one of these mods, like, dude, you know, bro, where'd you get that? You know, would you sell it? You know, I was, yeah, I was chasing this thing. I was chasing this thing. I had very, 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 very high hopes and expectations for this. And it absolutely 100% meets it exceeds them for $130. Yeah, I'm stopping right there, guys. Like, I'm going a million miles an hour right now because I fucking love this thing. So, would I recommend buying this? Absolutely. You know, I don't know. They're out of some of them on their site. I'll leave their site down below. Go buy one. Don't go buy one. I don't care. I have one, and I've wanted one forever, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful squonker. And I love squawking. So, that being said, I'm gonna shut the fuck up and get you guys out of here. Like I always say, I don't know what's going on out there in that crazy, crazy world. But I do know that around here, it's all love. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'll catch you on the next one. Quick little story about this and then we'll get out of here. When I order this thing, and I've wanted it for so long, and I've been trying so hard, and I guess like the fucking post guy or something put it in the wrong box at my work. It was shipped to my work, and so I was like, oh god, you know, it's. I got the email that said delivered, and you know, yay, happy. And I was like, no, it's not delivered. And I immediately emailed Defiant, and Greg Stevens actually within 10 minutes emailed me back, and he was super cool about it. I also nice to get this email from Greg Stevens. And I'm like, damn. And he's like, you know, you know, he gave me a, a, you know, kind of a list of, you know, you know, you know, check with your, your neighbors, blah, 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 you know, just a couple little things. And it, if we don't, if you don't get the mod, we'll get you another one out. Very, very cool. So customer service. I don't know if other places sell this, but I'm going to tell you right now to buy it from him directly, just like I do with MCM and all those all the other companies. I like to go directly on, on these, on these, you know, kind of higher end ones, stuff like that. Um, you know, for me anyways, you know, there's there's certain people I like to deal with and I would pay more for customer service, just like with Brad's or with Mao or anything. I would pay more, for me, I'll pay more, a little bit more for that customer service, for that exact reason. If something happens and you don't get your mod, you know, is there someone in a different country that's just gonna just be like, fuck you, you know? We've all seen recent things that can happen, you know, I just, look, I would rather do business directly with the person or with someone who I know has good customer service. So huge pro, Greg Stevens, for getting back to me. He was in contact with me, I think on like day two or three, we finally found it. The male dude put it in like one of the wrong boxes and I had to like stalk them and leave like post-its everywhere and shit like I was freaking out and then I guess they must have found which one they put it in and put it back in mine um that was a long story